hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing you guys you're going to be joining me today on cook with me cook and organize with me it's what i'm going to be doing so yeah if you're new here my name is abby welcome to my channel i recently just had a baby my baby is actually turning a month old tomorrow oh, sorry two months old tomorrow so yeah it's pretty known to the world so anyway you guys you're going to be joining me today on cook and clean and organize with me so yeah if you know thumbs up all right anytime i want to cook like this when i know i have a lot to do i usually target my time till around my baby is having his nap um especially his second nap of the day his first nap of the day is usually like my morning cleaning routine so when I bathe him in the morning, put him, I uh, feed him, I will just put him straight to my back and I'll be able to do my cleaning routine. That sleep usually lasts about one hour, 45 minutes to one hour. And within that time is when I will have my breakfast or something. So, but his second nap of the day is usually very long and that's when I get most of my editing done. If I need to edit, if I need to cook, if I need to do, um, Anything that I need to do that will be long if I need to package orders. So this is the time that I usually um, get a lot of things done. It usually sleeps for about two hours. Sometimes when I'm, when I'm lucky, it sleeps for about three hours. So um, what I usually do is I target his nap time. I feed him. I feed him so much till he falls asleep. And I am ready to work after he fell asleep. I'll just put him on the swing or on the bed. It doesn't matter. Once he knock off, he knock off. Like, that's it. So anyway, I made myself this um, Zobo this afternoon. I'm actually going to be freezing it for my kids later. I just thought I'd show you. There's nothing. It has nothing to do, to do with this video. So I thought I should show you. So anyway, you guys, let's come in my kitchen. I have a lot to do. Um, and I need to achieve it in about two, three hours before my baby wake up. So um, I'm going to be cooking. I actually start parboiling my meat before I, before I breastfeed him. I just put the meat in the pot. I just throw water in it. And this is the way I clean my meat. I've said that many times on here. And I can clean, I can throw in the water to wash it for about 10 times because you guys all these things if you don't clean them well trust me it stays in your body all the dirt stays in your body they have nowhere to go they just make you start gaining weight and they can cause so many things so clean your meat clean your fish clean all these things very well um yes yeah, so I'll, I'll clean my meat with hot water like cooked it throughout the water and yeah after that's what that i, I noticed do. that these meats they are very very big last time we went to the butcher shop i specifically told them please cut my meat small i don't know what small means to them maybe small means extra large to them i don't know but they cut this meat so big and i don't like when my meats are so big in the pot they're just so stressful to eat and they take so long to cook i just like my meats very nice and small not too big you know i don't even like a medium size i like it to be nice and small it's easy to eat it's easy to cook so i'm just cutting them down into the size that i want and at the end of the day i have a lot of meat so i cook this um whole meat and i divide the steel after this video i divide it into two i put some away and we eat some and um yeah so what i usually do with i'm gonna be showing you guys actually in future like what when i do like a batch cook what i do with them if you guys want to see that please thumbs up this video and please a lot of you guys watch but you don't thumbs up i know some of you guys do watch on your big screen but please, you want to help me in thumbs up. If you thumbs up my video, it makes it go viral and it helps me a lot. It helps my video. So please thumbs up that thumbs up on the bottom. Please, please, I need it so much. Keep thumbsing up. God bless all of you as you do so. And don't forget to subscribe. When you subscribe to my channel, it means a lot to me. It means that I'm engaging. It means that you support my dreams. You support what I'm doing. So please do subscribe and I will really, really appreciate it. And I'm praying for you as well. Just as you are supporting my dream, God will support you in every way. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to be adding some crayfish. You guys, this crayfish was sent from back home. I've said it before. The ones that you buy here, they're like this tiny, like two tablespoons for $10. Why you can buy a whole bunch like this from back home, they will blend it for you for like probably $10 for the whole thing. 
and this can last me for like two three months compared to the ones i used to waste money on and buy when i go to the african store here tiny thing like this will be ten dollars i used to waste so much money you guys years of years of wasting money buying all these things now that i know about cargo like i just want to talk about them a little bit nigerian cargo Niger, sorry canada cargo they're called canada cargo from Nigeria. They'll send you your package here. So I just want to talk about them a little, a little bit because they are not sponsoring this video yet. But yeah, they are very, very reliable. I like them. If you guys want to know about them, how to cargo your food from back home, I'll be sharing in nearest future. So yeah, anyway, I just season my meat. And what I usually do is I put crayfish, I put my seasoning, I put my salt, and I put onions. I don't put all like a lot of seasoning i just do the basic one and my stew always tastes so refreshing and so natural unlike when i used to put so many things like so many things thinking they will boost the taste no just minimize your seasoning trust me if you have a signature they will like they will take your food will taste the same way and it will have its own signature like its own taste so while my goat meat is cooking i'm gonna come in my son's bedroom this is my baby's bedroom and because it's not sleeping in the crib now it still sleeps in our room this crib has not been very useful um to him so we just when i do my laundry i just throw in all my laundry in this crib and it's easy for me to just sort out and fold so that's what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be sorting out laundries i'm going to be folding this room is in a mess you guys you can see his wardrobe i'm actually in the middle of like uh kind of making his uh closet wardrobe closet whichever one you guys call it back home we call it wardrobe you guys i'm trying to adjust the camera so you guys can see what i'm doing um so yeah his closet is in a mess but probably like in about a month i should be done with my ideas that i'm coming up with but right now it's in a mess and you guys can see it anyway i'm trying to put away uh, my big girl sweaters usually when i do laundry when they're home they help me 100 percent um but because i did this long laundry earlier in the morning and dried them i just threw them here and i have the time so i'm gonna put it away for them i'm just gonna surprise them my kids are very helpful even though they are like eight and nine they are the most helpful kids in the whole wide world i love them so so much but today i'm gonna surprise them when they come back from school i am going to be letting them know that i put away their laundry it's probably gonna make their day and it's gonna make them very very happy O 
All right, so the music in the background, I always get questions about what music are you listening to? What music is playing in the background? It's my husband music. I'm always very happy to play my husband music in my videos. And yeah, that's my husband's music. If you want his music, you can download it on Audio Mac. All his music are on Audio Mac. So anyway, we're going to, I'm going to end to my bedroom. You guys, I still don't know how to decorate this room like i know i'm not asking for suggestion sorry my baby is here sleeping and is dreamy so i still don't know how to decorate this room i'm still figuring it out somehow so um yeah but anyway i'm gonna i'm going to make my bed i'm going to set up um the bed clean the floor vacuum organize just things that i didn't get done in the morning just do it um, yeah, and I'm going to vacuum. I'm going to do a few things in here. So, yeah. All right, so I finished the bedroom and I'm heading downstairs now to check. I just checked my baby. You guys can see that he's still sleeping. You guys, I was so thirsty when I got downstairs, so I'm having some cranberry juice. And I'm going to check on my meat, and the meat is done at this point. It's um, nice and done, so I'm going to, I'm going to be frying the meat 
because I want it to be fried a little bit so you guys will be seeing that and I'm also going to be cleaning some dishes in the sink because there's some dishes that was sitting in the sink that I needed to clean and just a few things in this kitchen. And so like I said, I'm going to be frying my meat. Today I feel like I want to add palm oil into my cooking. I've been loving palm oil these days. You guys, anytime I lay my hands on good palm oil, like banga palm oil, the real one, it's so delicious in your stew. I always want to use it to cook everything. So I'm going to be frying the meat, not super fried, not deep fried, just like give it a bit of brownish color and I'm going to be frying that a little bit and then I'll be um, blending my paper. I just want to show you guys, I like it when I bleach out my oil with, like palm oil with um, the vegetables, vegetable oil, sorry. I'm going to be opening my tomato can. I use Unico, Unico and there's other one I can't remember. It's either that one or this one or the bottom one. I'm going to be using this to, um, for my for my sauce today. I'm going to add it into the blender. I'm going to add the bell pepper that my mom always sent me. This is a dry one. I, I really buy the fresh one. I still buy the fresh one, don't quote me. But this dry one is so delicious, eh? When you use it to cook, oh my goodness, if you buy if you buy stuff from back home, just ask them to do it for you. You will love it. I'm going to be adding two scotch pepper because I'm not adding more than that. If you think ah, two scotch pepper is not going to be pepper, <laughs> don't try it. Our peppers here are not the ones from back home. I'm saying everything here is so weird. The scotch peppers here are very, very spicy compared to Nigeria that you buy like three, um, like three, how do you say three um bunch or three layers or something like that i can't remember how they sell in nigeria you know when you go to the markets in nigeria they'll put like three in like three for fifty i can't remember three for five hundred naira or something or three for fifty fifty naira you guys you guys in nigeria know what i'm talking about so they will portion like three places of the peppers and then they will sell it for like three of them like a combo for 500 naira or 200 naira or 50 it's been long since i've been to nigeria so and then you use the whole three and use it to cook if you try that here you will throw out that sauce i'm just saying two is more than enough in your sauce here don't try and buy and use like 10 pieces of scotch pepper hey you will just throw it out so um yeah i'm just adding my meat into the pot i'm gonna cook it and yeah okay so i've been holding my baby and i want to talk about it my baby woke up after two and a half hours of nap I was expecting him to wake up anyway so he woke up so i was ready for it i'm almost done you guys saw that i just add the blended peppers and tomatoes into the pot so my at this stage of any stew any soup or stew that you're cooking you know that you're almost done so i'm not too concerned i just need to like add my seasoning and stuff and i just need to hold him so i can finish you guys look at how cute this man is He's so adorable and he's so calm. He doesn't cry. He doesn't give me a hard time. It's like you understand what's going on. It's so adorable. I love my baby so, so much. So, yeah, I'm just going to, like, round up here and I'll move to the next thing. I needed to throw the broth into my sauce anyway. So, I did that. And, yeah, I'm just going to 
move on and let you guys see what I'm doing. Alright, so I made some okra. I blend a little bit of okra on the side. Usually I'll make a widow, but I did okra today. I blend some on the side, just tiny bit on the side that we can use to eat the sauce. My kids love eba. You guys, you guys have seen me make fufu, eba, pounded yam in this house so many times because my kid loves swallow. And if I don't have rice in the house, if I don't have anything, if I have good sauce, my kids will eat. My husband. They love it. You will always find me making a bap on the dam in this house with good sauce. This is what my children love and I'm not ashamed of that because they really, really love it. They enjoy it. They enjoy it more than any other food. They eat everything. Sorry, the air was going in my son's face. I forgot to put it in bonnet. It was going in his face, so I had to like put it on the side. So my kids, they would rather eat this than eating anything else. They love, love, love a bap. So that's why I make it. I love to make what they like to eat so I can see them eat. So they came home when I was when I was about to finish. So I just portion their food <clears throat> before they go for um after school program. They usually have after school program Mondays and Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So this day it was on a Monday, I believe. So I just quickly um portion their food. They're gonna be eating eba and some sauce. And yeah, I'm just gonna help them like <clears throat> cut the meat so it won't be too hard for them when they're eating it so yeah that is pretty much everything my kids get go home and they love the food they're gonna eat you're gonna see them eating it so yeah that is pretty much everything i hope you guys enjoy my videos today if you do please support by subscribing thumbs up and share my video i'll catch you guys in my next video god bless all of you and love you bye